Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to review the BBAS A208 walkie talkie, which is a product that was jointly produced with the Xiaomi brand. Uh, the A208 is available in two different versions the blue version that you see here, and the white version, which has a smaller battery. The blue version has a battery, a slightly larger battery with 3350 milliamp capacity, while the white version has 2000 milliamp. Now uh, the, uh, the blue version, oh, I'm not sure why they call it blue because it looks a lot like uh, grey to me, dark grey. Um, but anyway, let's, let's just call it blue. And it comes shipped in this uh, modest uh, cardboard box. It comes with a micro USB charging cable and a user manual. There is also a charging dock for the A208 but it is sold separately. And the A208 can also be charged using the micro USB port that it comes with. Over here you can charge it just like any uh, ordinary smartphone. Let's take a look at the extern exterior of the A208. Uh, at the front here is the microphone speaker grill. Uh, sorry, the speaker grill and the microphone is located within the grill itself, hidden inside. Um, there is a antenna which is not removable so you can't really replace this with something better or a longer antenna. Um, above here is the uh, channel dial and there are a total of 16 preset channels. Now these channels are preset and you cannot uh, really uh, change the frequencies using these buttons here. But you can change it using the BBAS uh, software that you can download from the uh, uh, BBAS website. If I'm not mistaken, it's called um, ifingyou.com. Now, downloading the BBAS software isn't exactly straightforward because the website is entirely in Chinese and there is no English version of the website, but somehow I managed to find my way through and downloaded the software. Uh, the software has an English version. Uh, you can toggle between English and Chinese. Unfortunately, I'm not able to connect the A208 to my laptop or desktop because for some reason Windows just doesn't recognize it and it won't install the walkie-talkie although the, the software itself can be installed. Yeah, I'll, I'll get into the software details later on. Let's continue with the unit exterior. Over here you have the LED light which has three different colors I think. Um, green and red and I think yellow as well. At the back here you have the belt clip which is built in, you can't remove it. And at the side here you have a rubber seal door which conceals the micro USB port and the 3.5mm jack if you wish to use headphones with the A208 and also I think this is the reset button up here, down here. And on this side you have the PTT button. And there are two buttons actually, I'm not quite sure why they have two buttons, probably for redundancy if you, if one button fails then you have the other one functioning. And the right here in the middle is the power button and here is the volume button which you can see with the plus and minus signs for the volume up and down. Down here are the charging terminals. So the uh, A208 has a very minimalist design like many other Xiaomi products. Uh, it is a very a nice looking radio in terms of aesthetics and style. By default, the A208 comes with Chinese voice prompts. You can change this to English, but you have to do it in the BBAS software, which unfortunately I'm not able to use. Um, to power the, the, currently the unit is on, as you can see here with the light blinking. So to power it down, you just press and hold this power button to power it up as you hold, hold it down again. So as you can uh, hear just now, the, the voice prompt says Yi, which means one in Chinese, and it, there is a total of 16 channels. So each time you change the channel, it will R. tell you which channel you're in. Seven, six, five, six, six, six. So there, is a, there are a total of 16 channels with preset frequencies. Um, everything is in Chinese. Unless you toggle it into English. So it functions like a, uh, any, any other radio. You just uh, need to press the PDT to talk to uh, someone else on the same frequency. Like this. So uh, overall, I feel that the uh, performance of the A208 as a radio is uh, pretty good. Uh, I, I rarely get any crackling or static noise from the radio. 
99.9% of the time there is hardly any uh, static or crackle. Unlike the, um, the Baofeng AUV 5RE that I have here, which is pretty prone to um, static. Uh, to give you a little uh, test on the uh, voice, uh, the speaker performance of the uh, A to the R. I'll turn this on and I'll go to the other room and I'll be using the um, Baofeng. I'll be using the Baofeng to speak to the uh, A208. So as you can hear, the speaker on the A208 is pretty decent. It is quite loud. Right at the moment, the speaker level, the speaker volume is at about 20% and it's quite clear. And if you are in, if you're in a noisy environment, it has enough volume to be heard. Um, which, one, one, which is one of the good things about the A208 speaker. As I mentioned earlier, the microphone on the A208 is hidden inside the grill. Um, according to the user manual, you need to talk within uh, 5 to 3 centimeters of the speaker, uh, the grill itself, which is about this distance. Uh, that means putting this uh, right in front of your face. If you're talking, uh, if you place this further away, let's say uh, about this distance from your face, it's not going to be very clear. The volume um, on the other side will be a bit uh, soft. Uh, the other person won't be able to hear you very well. So that's a good thing. That's both good and bad. Uh, the good thing is that if you're in a noisy environment, like for example, a coffee shop or a market where there are a lot of people talking and a lot of noise, um, your, your voice will be drowned if the uh, microphone sensitivity is high. That is the problem that I get with the UV5RE. Uh, with the five, UV5RE, the, you don't have to talk too close to the microphone, you just uh, about like this distance or further, and it will pick up your voice very clearly. However, if you talk very close to the microphone, you're gonna hear, um, your voice will become so distorted that the other person can't really hear you. However, with the more sensitive microphone on the UV5RE, I feel that um, in a noisy environment, the, the other person can't really hear my voice or what I'm saying because it's also picking up uh, the background noise very well. Now with the A208, you won't hear much of the background noise because uh, it's not that sensitive, the microphone. Um, so that's a good thing. Now the a208 has a distance, transmission distance of uh, anywhere between 1 to 5 kilometers depending on uh, line of sight. Uh, I have so far tested it up to 2 kilometers and it has performed very well, especially when you have a clear line of sight. And in uh, situations when um, the other person is uh, inside an elevator in the same building, it's still uh, pretty good in, when it comes to reception and um, uh, transmission. Uh, I, with, for those tests, I was using the um, Baofeng together with this. Both of these walkie-talkies have similar transmission distances. So now let's move on to the uh, BBest software that you're uh, supposed to work with this. Um, according to BBest, you're able to unlock uh, extra features on the uh, A208 with this software. Uh, among these is is the uh, manual setting of the frequencies for the channels. Other features include channel lock, channel scanning, and voice activated switch, which is a VOX if you're using buffing. Unfortunately, I'm not able to test these features because I'm not able to uh, log in to the connect to the uh, A208 using Windows 10. If any one of you has any success in connecting the A208 to your Windows uh, computer, please let me know in the comments below. So yeah, that concludes my review of the BBest A208 walkie-talkie. I hope you found this video useful. Please hit the like button if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be coming up with the uh, Baofeng UV5RE uh, review soon. So till the next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.